Danger Dolan. From crocodile size cannibalistic millipedes to the most inefficient way of growing teeth, we look at 15 strangest prehistoric creatures that actually existed. Number 15. The Dunkleosteus. Give a fish an armor plated jaw that's about as inviting as a bear trap, and you have this wonder of evolutionary history. The Dunkleosteus could grow up to 10 meters long and weigh 3.5 tons, which for comparison is more than double the size of a great white shark. But its most fearsome feature was its armor plated head and jaw, giving it most likely the strongest bite in history. Although this didn't stop the Dunkleosteus being wiped out along with its whole group of armored fish, I'd hate to meet whatever was able to wipe out the bear trap with Finn's monster. Number 14. The Jacolopterus. This giant armored millipede like creature is not only strange looking, but also one of the most deadly creatures of its time. Categorized as a sea scorpion, it would grow over 2 meters long and dominate coastal swamps by devouring everything in its path, including other Jacolopteruses. Yes, this thing was a horrible cannibal. Just a reminder that 2 meters long is about the size of an adult crocodile. Technically, it was also one of the largest insects to ever live as well, so there's something new for your nightmares tonight, guys. Number 13. The Epidrosaurus. Imagine your pinky finger being twice the length of your middle finger, and you have the sole reason that this bird-like dinosaur made the list. Essentially, it all looks pretty standard for the Epidrosaurus until you get to that pesky third finger that looks like nature made a terrible, terrible mistake. But no, there is a valid reason for this, with the poor thing using the extra long fingers to dig for insects. Still, if humans had these, we'd probably only use them for digging out snot when waiting at a red light. Ah, oh, come on, you all do it. Number 12. The longest squama. Take one small gecko like reptile, slam seven feathers in its back, and you essentially have this prehistoric creature. Living in the Triassic period, the reptile had the unfortunate luck to be a small guy in a big guy world, meaning it was prone to being eaten, and that may have had something to do with the giant feather like appendages on its back consistently acting like a McDonald's sign to larger predators. Although research is on 100% sure these were feathers, it looks more likely, especially seeing how many creatures seem to have random feathers everywhere the further we get down this list. Number 11. The Pterodostro. Plankton better watch out, cause there is a new giant pink bird on the scene to make you say what the holy fuck is this thing. This pelican flamingo beast would wade in shallow waters using a process of filter feeding to find its next meal of delicious prehistoric plankton, all while looking great in its pink paint job. The beak is probably its oddest part though, with its odd teeth-like features, it's always looking like it's going to give you a lovely wide smile, because a smiling flamingo is not absolutely terrifying at all. Thanks, evolution. Number 10. Archaeoteryx. What happens when you slam a dinosaur head onto a bald eagle body? Well the answer is one strange ass looking bird, that's what. Supposedly the first bird to ever exist, the Archaeoteryx fossils show the transitionary traits from dinosaurs to avian creatures, but it's debatable how much of the flight capability the bird had with a dino head. Still there's something oddly cute about this thing, like a tiny flying raptor from Jurassic World that you can train to sit on your shoulder like a parrot. Number 9. The Therizinosauridae. Also known as Reaper Lizards, this is one of nature's oddities that had scientists stumped when it turned up in the fossil records. Originally believed to be the remains of several different creatures, this Reaper Lizard had a beak, four toed feet, a long neck, and a beer belly that would make your uncle jealous. They also had extremely large claws for their front arms, which looked comically disproportionate in many recreations. Unfortunately, the claws weren't used for killing T Rexes, but for eating plants. Boring. Number 8. The Charoviptoteryx, another small lizard like reptile from the pesky old Triassic era, where small lizards were walking happy meals for larger carnivores. But this little guy had the ability to glide, which gives him an edge over the other lizards, having giant skin flaps between its back legs and small flaps on the front too, would give the small reptile a gift of soaring out of the way of larger predators. But this gift comes at the cost of looking downright silly as you fly away on your giant skin flap back legs. Then again, better to look stupid than to be someone else's lunch. Number 7. The Microraptor. While the name would suggest a very small tiny raptor, what it actually means is small flying raptor that will kill you. Another dinosaur with insert other animal part here, 
The Microraptor had four wings that we still can't work out how it used. Some say it would climb trees and jump off branches using the wings as parachutes, while the alternative is to using all four wings to take off, somehow. Either way, anything with Raptor in its name isn't something I'd want to have the ability to fly through the air. Number 6. The Hallucigenia. Man worms were some kind of nightmare creatures millions of years ago with this tentacle penis head thing. The Hallucigenia was only 3 millimeters long, so that's a massive relief. The little worm-like creature would walk around on spiny, stilt-like legs while using soft tentacles on its back to feed itself. At least that was the first thought. Turns out the thing was upside down. Then researchers made another discovery that the penis head was actually a stain in the fossil and the tail was the actual head. So good news, Hallucigenia. You're not a literal dickhead. Number 5. The Helicio Prion. This is what happens when you take jaws, um, jaw, and wrap it up into a spiral and place it somewhere near the shark's mouth. When researchers found this fossil, they only had a strange coil of teeth that they originally thought was some kind of shellfish. But no, nope, another was found attached to a jawbone leading to more, what the fuck is this? The shark would grow teeth over its lifetime that would push younger teeth further down the coil. Why? How? Well, we don't quite know. We don't even know where the coil went because it would slow the shark down if it was on the outside. Either way, a coil of teeth hanging from your jaw is a goddamn strange thing. Number 4. The Quetzal Coltless. What the hell even is this goddamn thing? Something out of my worst nightmares, but also it's kind of hilarious to look at. Imagine a giraffe with feathers and wings for legs and BAM! You have this prehistoric beast that roamed the skies of the past, striking fear and laughter with its comically sized neck. Although honestly this thing looks like it could barely run let alone take flight to the skies. Oh shit, not a flying giraffe! Must have been what the animals of feasted on were thinking right before they got swallowed up. Number 3. The Stethocanthus. Sharks have always been the most ferocious looking sea predators, but this slight variation from the past makes them look very, very comical. Essentially carrying an anvil on its back. Oh wait, no, that's its fin. That makes more sense now. Well anyway, the sea creature was only about 70 centimeters long and had spine brush growths both on its head and anvil fin thing. It's believed that the brush growths were to scare off larger predators by appearing as if the little guy had a larger mouth. No clue how that's supposed to work, but I am no fancy paleobiologist thing. Number 2. The Epidexeteryx. All these goddamn complicated names. You should just call these things what they are. In this case, it would be Hell Pigeon. One of the early flightless feathered dinosaurs, this 10 inch high monster had the arms of a dinosaur combined with four long tail feathers, most likely used in the same way a peacock would, but in a much more disturbing dinosaur way. Imagine little pigeon sized dinosaurs running around with arms that can climb up over your body, then claw your eyes out while it shows off its feathers. I mean, they probably wouldn't do that. But how can you trust the bird with those arms? Number 1. The Opabinia. Wanna see what life would grow on Earth if it was an alien planet in Doctor Who? Well, you're in luck. The Opabinia has to be one of the oddest things to ever exist on this planet with its elephant-like trunk with added crab claw. It's thought that it used the trunk to search through the seafloor for soft bits of food to then eat. While the Opabinia might be one of the more boring sea dwellers, Nothing it does can take away the fact that it has a goddamn claw at the end of the trunk. Looks like some eight-year-old made this thing in Photoshop. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!